It looks good. Have you guys ever made a gingerbread house? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. and, yep. and I bet they come out perfectly with you guys, right? No. No, because really? we did them with kids, so at least oh, I did. Okay. So they... But it is funny, I have to control myself, like, not to help them. Like, no, 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 wait, yes, that's not perfect. Okay, no, <laughs> Rachel. It's the same thing with decorating okay. a tree. It's like, just leave yeah. them where they put them. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Perfection is not... <sighs> No perfection with the Christmas forecast. Say, yeah. There's no snow on the ground by the time you wake up on Christmas morning. We do have rain and gusty winds and coastal flooding, though. Not really a fair trade. That rain is all going to get started later tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. But the heaviest rain will be after dark and likely after you end up going to bed. It will be torrential overnight, Thursday night into early Friday morning. Otherwise, the rest of the day, scattered showers, gusty winds. We'll see things taper off as we head through the late afternoon, but around that time temperatures will crash, dropping below freezing. And we're talking about sub zero wind chills by the time we head into Christmas Eve morning. It's going to be pretty wild. Let's take a look at some of the winds that will be on the way because this is going to affect a lot of us as well here moving forward. So by this time tomorrow night, the winds aren't so bad. We're seeing gusts that are up in the 20s. But after midnight, as I mentioned before, that's when those winds really start to increase. We could see gusts between 45 to 55 miles per hour for a time centered right around day break and then we might see another little burst in winds as we head into the early afternoon as a cold front comes through. So that's enough for if we end up seeing winds like this scattered outages across the state. So something that we'll be watching and just make sure you're ready just in case you lose power at your home. Also, I wanted to let you know this is a busy travel day Friday, right? Well, I do think there will be some road closures along the immediate Connecticut shoreline caused by widespread moderate coastal flooding. So the water coming in anywhere between a foot and a half to two and a half feet above your typical high tide. And the high tide is already higher than usual because of a new moon. Low temperatures tonight dropping back into the upper teens to low 20s. Tomorrow we start the day off dry. High temperatures will be in the 40s during the day and we'll see that rain develop later in the afternoon into the early evening. So this is seven o'clock tomorrow morning. No issues for the morning commute and even for the evening commute. It's just going to be raining. We're not talking about anything too intense that you can't get out in. Briefly we may start off as a mix or snow in the hills but we quickly transition over to rain. It's raining pretty good as we head towards an after midnight, even the chance for a rumble of thunder in a one or two locations. This is 6 a.m. and it's still raining pretty heavily out there, but there will be a break or a lull in the action 7, 8, 9 o'clock before the cold front comes through. So rain will fill back in, maybe a snow shower to finish things off by 4 or 5 o'clock we're dry, and that's when temperatures will take that nose dive as we go from 50s to below freezing. I would say three to six o'clock that process will happen. And then this is a look at wind chills as we head into Saturday morning below zero. It'll be so weird after seeing temperatures in the 50s during your Friday. So the question is, will we have a flash freeze? I think nine times out of 10, the roads do have a chance to dry out because of those gusty winds. However, there could still be some slippery spots, especially untreated surfaces in any areas where there's standing water. We are dry but cold for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and the chill sticks around into next week, guys.